Hi, and welcome to St. James Lutheran Church Digital Sunday School for Sunday, March 29th. This Sunday is the last week before Holy Week. We're getting towards the end of Lent and preparing ourselves for Easter. This is also the last story before Jesus goes into Jerusalem as a king to die for us. Here, in this today's story where we're talking about Jesus and Lazarus, we're going to see how Jesus was not just a king. He is with us. He is also fully human, and he's with us when we feel sad. And so I'm going to read the story, but I'm going to need your help. When I read that someone cries in the story, I want you to cry too. Now, you don't have to give real tears. Acting it out is totally fine. And when I say that people are happy, I want you all to cheer. So let's start. Three of Jesus' good friends included a man named Lazarus and his sisters, Mary and Martha. Jesus was on a long journey when he found out that Lazarus was dying. It took Jesus a few days to travel to see his sick friend. When Jesus arrived, he saw Lazarus' sister, Martha. She had some sad news. Jesus, Lazarus is dead, cried Martha. I wish you could have arrived earlier. You might have been able to save him. Jesus tried to comfort her. Martha, don't be sad. Lazarus will live again. Martha believed what Jesus said. And then Lazarus' older sister, Mary, came to greet Jesus. She wished Jesus had come sooner too. Jesus, if you had been here, Lazarus might still be alive, she wept. She also believed that Jesus could have healed her brother. Now, Jesus was sad, too, because Lazarus died. He cried and cried. Jesus, Martha, and Mary went to the tomb where Lazarus was buried. Jesus told some people standing there, Take the stone away from the tomb. The people were surprised at what Jesus said. Martha reminded Jesus that Lazarus had been dead for four whole days. They had already made his body ready for burial by wrapping it in special clothes. But Jesus knew what he was doing. He insisted that they open the tomb. And so when the heavy stone was rolled away, Jesus said, Lazarus, come out. The people were frightened. And amazed when Lazarus came out of the tomb. Since his hands and his feet were all wrapped up in the burial clothes, the people had to help Lazarus unwrap them. And when the people saw that Lazarus was alive again, they laughed and they sang and they danced. Many people that day believed Jesus would bring new life to everyone. And so this is a story that is sad and happy. I know those are, seem like two big opposites, but it's both. Jesus, Mary, and Martha, and all the people that were there were sad because Lazarus died. And it is sad that Lazarus died. It is okay. Even Jesus was sad. But they all know that they can be happy because they have Jesus. And Jesus brings them back to life. And Jesus promises to bring us back to life with God as well. Because of Jesus, we know there's happiness to be found because God always has the last word in any sad times. And yeah, we might be sad for a while, but that's okay. Jesus was sad too. He knows what it's like and he can be right beside us when that happens. So, if you don't already have your parents, pause the video, go ahead and grab them. We're going to start our discussion questions. First question, when was a time that you have felt sad? When do you think that Jesus was with you during those times? How can you help someone that is feeling sad? Now that after you guys have discussed all those questions, 
keep your parents with you because it's time for an activity. For today's activity, you're going to need two glasses of water. In one glass, put one tablespoon of salt and stir it around until it all dissolves. And you can't tell the difference between the two. Don't do anything with the other glass. You don't want it. It's just going to be a glass of water. All right. Then you can turn around, turn away, or even go into another room and have someone that mixes the glasses around. And then see if you can tell which glass has salt in it and which one does not. Now, if you want to give yourself an extra challenge of two glasses too easy, you can add more glasses, like three or four. There's all sorts of fun you can have with this if you want to, have, if you want to play a game. But overall, this, this activity symbolizes Jesus turning our tears into our baptismal waters. Jesus knows when we are sad, and he helps us turn that into something good. He is with us when we are sad, and he helps us work to something that's a lot bigger. He baptizes us, and we are brought into Jesus' family. And you guys know that family for God means that he is not leaving anyone behind. And so, let's close with prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for bringing us into our into your family and for making letting us know that you are with us whenever we are sad. Help us when we are sad and help us know that you are with us and the great things you have in store for us after we are done being sad. Thank you so much for the gift of Jesus and thank you so much for bringing us back to life in you. In your holy name, amen. Thank you all for tuning in. You can go ahead and find us online at stjamesjohnson.org or look us up on Facebook under St. James Lutheran Church in Johnston, Iowa. Let us know what you think by leaving a comment on our Facebook page or emailing because uh, we love receiving this feedback. Thank you all and I hope you have a blessed week.